It's been roughly a month since Samsung showed off its new Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 edition, and we're finally able to purchase it. We have Sheree L. Smith here, and she reviewed the tablet, and she's going to walk us through some of the big changes between this version and the previous edition, and show us some of the cool flares of it. So, Sheree, you want to explain what the big deal is about the 10.1 2014? Uh, certainly, Dan. So, the first thing is the physical look. So, Samsung has finally listened to consumer complaints, gotten rid of that slippery back, mm -hmm. and actually replaced it with a white faux leather panel, which is really, it's really nice to hold, and it's really nice to look at. And while I like the white version, I think I would get this in jet black, just because white stains easily. Right. So, that's just a no-brainer. Um, so, you still, like previous uh, Galaxy uh, tablets and phones, you've got your IR blaster, you've got your volume rock or your power button. Uh, speakers are on the sides, which I'm not too fond of because they're not hitting your face. So when you like the sound kind of dissipates mm. and it, it's really it's not as loud as it could be. So let's get to why this is actually a note. So boom, the pen. Mm -hmm. I noticed from the previous incarnation that the pen is actually a lot lighter and thinner, which is really cool, but it still has a lot of the functionality is really fluid to use. So as you can see, when I pulled out the pen, this little handy dandy ring popped up, which is called Air Command, which houses five really useful pen enabled utilities. My favorite of which right now is Action Memo. So Action Memo allows you to write down anything like contacts, phone numbers, directions. So if I write down a phone number, usually I forget about it. But with Link to Action, we have this new bar right here. So you can put it in contact, you can send it to an email, web browser. So I'm actually gonna put, since it's a phone number, I'm gonna send it to contacts. It pulls the number right in, easy breezy. You don't have to worry about it anymore and you keep the valuable info. The, t the tablet also does improve multitasking. So the thing, so if you remember multitasking from before, you pull something from this bar, and now you've got split screen. The new thing is you've got this context sensitive uh, menu that lets you switch applications. There's also switch windows, so I can do that, and drag and drop, which will let me, if I was in the regular email client, pull over, let's say, a photo from gallery and just pull it in there, it'll put it as an attachment, which is really cool, it's very convenient. Uh, simply, if you want a larger version of the Note 3, this is the way to go. Mm. It's $599, so it's a bit pricey. Um, but it's not. A, it's about the same price as a 32 gig iPad or the Sony Xperia Tablet Z. Um, I would recommend this for creative professionals and uh, people that need a tablet that does a little bit more than play video and look pretty. And speaking of look pretty, I al almost forgot that this uh, tablet has a 2560 by 600 display, which is actually a lot better than the iPad display. I asked a couple of our staffers and everybody agreed that this is the better display with better color, brightness, and it is just an all round pretty tablet. So how, how long will it last on a charge? Um, during our battery test, we got seven hours and 44 minutes, which is above the category average. But of course, the iPad got about 12 hours and the, X, the Sony tablet got uh, a little over nine hours. So like you'll definitely get nearly a work's day full of worth of um, battery life, but it's something to consider. So that's Cherie's take on the Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 edition. For more info on the tablet, check out our full review at laptopmag.com.